Do not my dad! What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten, back at it again. It's been a while since I've watched any Jaden animations, but I've been really into animated content lately. OSP, um, I'm getting back into extra history. I found this this uh, thing called like C CG Grey or something. So I think I'm gonna check those out. Yeah, just been really into animated content lately. So I was like, why not? Why not do some Jaden animations? I really enjoyed um, the two that I did before with Chavez. So I'm ready, I'm psyched. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. Get ready to say goodbye to the braids, okay? Cause they're coming out. I'm coming out. I want the world to know I got a purple fro. I'm coming now. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Eh, eh, eh. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Okay, sorry, sorry. Got a little too hype there, but yeah. The braids are coming out soon, um, so don't be surprised if you see me in a video and I just got my hair out and curly and gorgeous and beautiful. Oh, the name of this video is I Played Weird Virtual Pet Games and I really, I'm super hoping that she references Neopets, but I feel like she won't and so I'm just not gonna set myself up for disappointment. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Virtual pet games have been around since when people figured out how to make games that weren't Pong. Tamagotchi, Nintendogs, Webkins, Robo Sapien, you name it. And it makes sense. Kids love pets and parents love not giving their children actual living, breathing animals that'll eventually Truthfully. die and send their child into a spiraling depression for at least three days. It's a win-win for everyone. In 2004, my parents gave me a Nintendo DS along with two games to go with it, Animal Crossing Wild World and Nintendogs. They already gave me a real dog at that point, but this was good for stopping me before I started trying to ask for another because boy, did I not take care of the first one. I actually Blech. still have the exact same save file as when I first got the game. This is Star, my first ever Nintendog. I don't know why I named her Star, especially since the shape on her stomach is a heart. Anyway, her stats are maxed out. She can walk longer than any of my other dogs. I was gonna show you, but then... I do, I do not think that we just went on a walk. I haven't seen these dogs in 12 years, and she's the <laughs> champion of agility training. Er, okay. Well, at least she was, until I tried to do a contest like the good old days, made a fool of myself, and got my dog bullied by the judges. This is oh, Scruffy wow. named after my childhood dog, who is very dead now. Oh, there, oh, Scruffy. No. I know you haven't had a human interaction in like six years because you're dead, but give me some space, will ya? And the other dogs mean nothing to me. I also wanted to show off my peach cart toy. I loved this thing as a kid and thought it was super rare, which I actually think maybe isn't because I have two. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about Nintendo dogs. I'm here because I found a bunch of very strange virtual pet games that are not Nintendogs that I want to show you. First, so I'm just going to pause right here. I never played Nintendogs, but the way people talk about it makes me wish that my parents had loved me enough to get me a DS and also Nintendogs. Like, that game looks super cute and fun AF. Next up, we've got Hamster's Life with a Z. And oh, uh, I got these games from eBay and it looks like someone else's hamster is on here. Anyway, oh no, it's one of these games. So I was going through the selection of hamsters and I stumble onto this, the cutie hamster. This uh -huh. is quite possibly one of the ugliest hamsters I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. The cute little icon compared to the actual hamster is astounding. I got worse. He oh, looks like no. an elder, so I'm going to name him Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa wants to play a memory game. Oh no, Failed so you can pet your hamster, feed it, clean the mass amounts of black mold growing in its cage, what? hold it with your creepy hand. You can even oh, take God. him out of the cage and hold it. All right, I think I'm done for now. You can also you give it him. toys to play with. Oh, he cages too small. He cages. So you know, hamster's life with a Z was as to be expected. Sure, some of the execution was a bit unexpected, That's really but cute. nothing out of the ordinary. 
Until, what do you say when you turn around, you see a cat, and your heart almost stops? Ah, uh, what? I thought you just play little mini games with your <laughs> hamster and feed them seeds and talk stuff. To but him? apparently, they start learning English. You can talk to them and they'll respond, but you can only say the options the game is provided. Ah, oh, uh, no. yes. The only phrases a human would ever need. Good evening. Come on. And I'm sad. But sometimes the hamster will personally yeah. ask how to convey emotions. <laughs> My friend went away. How should I express these feelings? Uh -huh. <laughs> what should I say when I... <laughs> what? What is this? I only we have one sunflower seed left. Uh, uh, guys, I taught my hamster how to be sad and now I think he's depressed. But it's we okay be because 42 hours in, Grandpa now has a cowboy hat and an entire roller coaster. Next oh, up is wow. Parrot Pals. I was excited about this one because, you know, I have my own Parrot Pals. You put up game and... <laughs> you know what? It's not wrong. I picked out my large bird and named him large, and now I have options on how to interact with him. Care, okay. which is the typical feeding, cage cleanup, bathing. Watching, which is just letting him outside and watching him. You can't interact That's with your bird while you're stupid. watching him. You just sit there and, and watch him. That I mean... I don't know what I expected. And okay. play, which is the mini games. Can't be a virtual pet game without the mini games. There's dribbling, made you look, and tug of war. And I was immediately intrigued by tug of war because I don't know if you know this, but this is what tug of war looks like with a bird. Right. <laughs> Turns out you have to withhold your strength and not knock over the flag in the middle, which is less exciting if I'm gonna be completely honest. Also, this is what dribbling looks like. It's this just cute, keep away though. with the bird. I don't know, I just wanted to show you what it looked like. That's anyway, so you can cute. actually talk to your bird and it'll try to have a conversation. Hello, bird. <laughs> Bitch! Alright, so let me show you the Amazon review. Bitch, you're my bird! What do you mean you don't like me? You can't not- you have to love me! It's like parents with their kids, the love has to be unconditional. At least that's what they tell us. They don't, you don't figure out till you're older that that's not necessarily true. But that bird will never figure it out. That single-handedly made me decide I have to buy this game. Sarah says, one star. Within the first five minutes, my daughter struggled to get the speak and repeat to work. And when it did work, the bird kept telling her over and over, I dislike you, until she <laughs> cried. Need I say more? <laughs> also, it was literally like two bucks. A bit into the game, you unlock training, which lets you teach your bird tricks and phrases to repeat. I was confused on why the game was telling me to teach the bird random phrases like washed up by the river, there is an old man, and ogre island. But then I realized I had to teach the bird this entire 20 phrase long story. Once upon a time, oh. sound like gentrification what the fuck indoctrinated kids early i see i'm not gonna tell you how long it took to get them to learn all that but just know it was more than i would have committed to if i wasn't monetizing it for content then large <laughs> just starts going off with the free speech okay I didn't teach him any of that. <laughs> Why is he saying these things? After you teach the bird every single trick and repeatable <laughs> phrase he can learn, contests open up. And I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say I'm probably the first person in the world who has actually unlocked contests and Parrot Pals. I entered large into the beginner contest and won, probably because he was the only participant. So you win the beginner okay. contest and you expect large. your rank to go up to I don't know, intermediate contest or maybe even advanced contest. No, you rank up from beginner to novice. Oh, <laughs> What's oh, okay. What's next after that? Just starting out? 
It's master? You go from beginner to novice to master. Now, the game That's you've all been murder. waiting for. Okay. You know them. You love them. Monkeys. With a ah! Z, obviously. A game I mean, where you yes, adopt, take home, and play with monkeys. Yes. You start off at an adoption center great. where you can pet the three monkeys they have out in their backyard to see which one you want to take home. Well, hey there, buddy. What's your... Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, how can I say no to a face like that? <laughs> Why did they give him such human eyes? That's terrifying. I named him Champ, and now we just... Go Why'd you home, adopt the ugly Look one? Go. Welcome home, little man. Don't touch no! it. I was in the middle of trying to figure out what a single one of these menu icons meant when Champ decided to just go out and help himself to the kitchen. I mean, yeah, I guess monkeys would be able to do that. But I sure didn't expect it. Also, holy crap, I totally thought Champ was a boy at first. But turns out I was just confused because they colored the female gender icon of the monkey blue so their champ is in the kitchen okay hanging out i'm just realizing there's just a straight up monkey in my house after a little bit of petting and taking care of your monkey a little heart gauge goes up and when you get all okay. three hearts your monkey will grow up He's still just as terrifying. This is uncanny. This monkey is now taller than the kitchen countertops. Go out and take a look at the counters in your kitchen right now and really just take in how yeah, big of a monkey, monkey that, that is. My house, Am I, I the only one leave. that is feeling very now. weird about this? There's no doubt in my mind. This monkey could absolutely kill me if it wanted to. Goddamn. Uh, I bought another monkey. You can go out to the park with your monkeys and play with just some random other monkey that's there. There's also a Nintendogs agility training, but for monkeys that's and cute. Nintendogs bath time, but for, but monkeys, for monkeys and Nintendogs frisbee toy, but so they just for took monkeys. Nintendogs. And but put you know what this game monkeys. has that Nintendogs doesn't? Human clothes. I put yes! this sweater on Champ because I don't know. I think now it feels like I have an actual just hairy person then i bought another monkey <laughs> there are three monkeys in my house and they all have various styles of clothes on then That's this cute. happened <laughs> i think oh. out of all the virtual pet games out there the fact that the monkeys can have babies uh makes me the most <laughs> uncomfortable overall this game is very jank you can throw the bowl of water and the water just does this Monkeys That's will cute. get stuck in the walls. When you enter oh, a no. new room for a few frames, you can catch all the monkeys tea posing. But I'd uh, expect nothing less from Pets Monkeys with House Z. with a Z. I knew yeah, what I was getting into with this game. Have you seen the back of the box art? There's not much else to say. Overall, I enjoyed virtual pet games as a kid, and I'm sure a lot of people think back fondly on their virtual pets as well. It's just funny how Nintendo started this huge trend and all these other game companies started scrambling to throw together their own Nintendogs to cash in on poor unassuming children and right. grandparents. But again, now we've got such a wide variety of, of content and I unironically love it. That was great. That was an amazing journey. Uh, I never played Nintendogs, but I played like a lot of Flash games and stuff. I loved Cake Mania, uh, Diner Dash. Oh my God, I love Diner Dash. And then uh, what, I think the office shoot was like Wedding Dash. Oh my God, me and Wedding Dash, we were, mm. I beat Cake Mania multiple times, beat Diner Dash multiple times. I beat all of the Cake Manias multiple times. I only beat the first Diner Dash. I could not beat the second Diner Dash. It was very tilting. Um, There's also a game called Chocolatier. I think Chocolatier is like still available on Steam. I enjoyed that one. I have a feeling of peace associated with Chocolatier that I do not have associated with the other two. My mom also bought me this thing. Oh my God, it was so old. You, ha It had like a wire that split into three and it was the red, yellow, and white or whatever. And you had to hook it up to the TV again in the red, yellow, and white. Um, and it was uh, it was called Designer's World. And I don't, I never beat the game. I couldn't, I couldn't beat the game because there was like a part that you had to beat. And I had, I, I tried every combination of clothes, every combination of model, like everything. And I just could not get a high enough ranking to beat it. It was, it was a fun game, but it was a frustrating game as a child. Like as a child, I was not, I tried for months 
and as a child like that's a long ass time you know as an adult you you put stuff down you pick it back up a couple no every day i was trying to play that damn game and beat it and i couldn't do it so i never played these games but those were my little like weird games that i played um let me know games that you played as a kid down in the comments below uh i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed it and peace out hope biscuits it's skin lit